Hello there, everybody. This is me, No Name Moments of Inspore, back with Rule the Waves 3, where last episode we designed a uh, <coughs> dreadnought in terms of um, democracy. Apparently, I cannot click on the design study to bring up the screen. Uh, this will definitely be the last episode I record before the game is released, but like by the time this goes live, the game's out. The game's already been out for a while. Go get it. Um, yeah, uh, and I hopefully will, I hopefully will be announcing something soon, I'll have to, uh, have to see about stuff. Well, actually, it's probably already announced, if I am announcing it at all, um, if it is happening, it is probably happening, um, but don't, don't take this as a word, or don't take this as a word for it, it would have already been, would have already been done, um, or, you know, already been announced and already going on. I'll just I'll just leave it at that. I, I record these way too far in advance. So currently I am rebuilding battleships. In this case, Bouvet and uh, Saint Louis, or Saint Louis, um, as well as Massena and Charlemagne. Um, the battleships Justice and Suffren are still building. The cruisers Deployed Alone, Pothau, and Cond are rebuilding. Uh, Leon Gambetta is close to commissioning. And then the two Victor Hugos will begin entering service relatively soon. Um, I'm going to mothball these other two cruisers. I'm trying to figure out who got added to the other. Okay, so we have a couple... Unassigned commanders who we just don't know the traits of, so I will put them in charge of the other Pascals. If I need to move them off, I have a method to do so now. And uh, Katanaut will be the last of the Pascals to complete. So I'm going to go another turn. Ooh, nice. That's good. Katanaut is commissioned. St. Louis, Bouvet have finished their reconstruction. Um... I'll just take the slight tension increase. Oh, Japanese coup has taken place in Borneo. Projects in labor unrest have delayed the rebuild of Deployed Alone. That's not great. You got one guy promoted. Espionage against the U.S. Austria Hungary is scrapping some of their early ships. Yeah. Scrapping stuff is starting to happen now. Okay, yeah, that massively increased tensions um, with everyone. That's not good. Um, so the Carnots do need central firing. And uh, probably need uh, upgraded... Five inch guns. Okay, uh, I need to assign a new commander here. So we have a bunch of un. Oh, yeah, the commander for Sully got promoted. So all the unassigned characters, aside from. Ah, this guy's fine. That that must have been the guy who got promoted to a uh, contra admiral. Brennis, uh, are gonna need a refit. If we're gonna go, you know, this is looking concerning in terms of war. So I think it is a smart idea, right now, to just go for the update on the Brennis, because we might need it. Um. Mothball, you sign a new commander. Um, take an unassigned guy for now. We'll try to learn more about these guys, and then if we can uh, stick them on better ships, like uh, Jean Bart, maybe. I feel like uh, these guys, these two ships, should probably get a refit. Um, and then the Pascals should probably also be stuck in uh, 
DL divisions. So, light cruiser division, um, I want Duchela in the 7th, I want a new CL division, and a new CL division, and then these will um, take the Pascals. Then assign commanders, so... I probably do want CAs in charge, because I just have so many of them. Okay, so I've gone through all the unassigned guys. So I'm thinking, I mean, we got... I mean, we have some above average guys, but I'm not sure I really want to use them on this division. So I'll assign two average guys. Um, okay. How about this? I add a new CL division. Assign CA Druid of the first battle division. Or the se not the first, the second. And then I can assign this guy there. And then dissolve this division. Okay. Um... I have no idea what their qualities are. I'll just kind of let them let them be. <clears throat> I think it is probably a good idea to try to get to Duchela rebuilt though with uh, central firing. Okay, and then I do need to do a design study for a battle cruiser. So I'm going to start auto generating a battle cruiser, and I'm going to mess. I'm going to mess with this. So I think I want a J and K single turret as well. Um, actually, here's what I'll do. Oh, no, add K back in. J and K will be doubles, but we'll do an F and G. F and G will be singles. Which will be a little cursed, but I think I can make this work. So I want a... 3,000 ton ship capable of going 25 knots. Now, where I can get some of this weight back is in terms of uh, messing with the secondaries. Want more turret armor though. Don't have any tertiaries. They're effective. With slope deck, I think these add a little bit. Right? Although you can still get like a partial penetration. Um. But yeah, turrets need are something which need to be well protected. Okay, um So up up close the turrets can be penned. Far away they really can't. Um this should be barely affordable.
Let's remove all of the visuals. Clear the superstructure. Find custom colors as that, which is an OK deck color. I'll have to move all the guns around. Um, okay, how do I want to handle this? We want to do this. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I'm making a mistake. Um, Hmm. I kind of want it to drop down, but I'm trying to figure out if that's where. Because, uh, ah, I think it's better to have the forward turret elevated and the back one's not. I almost want to do, like, probably this. And then with structure one, and the start, we'll do that. Um, do that. I'll do this. Uh, we'll go back there. I'll do that. Okay, that can kind of work. Uh, so we'll move the forward gun forward. Move the aft gun. Aft position these turrets. Maybe more there. Position these turrets more here. This is a this is gonna be a cursed battle cruiser, but I think it'll be fun. Um, so start with auto placing the casemates. Um, we'll leave the port midships wings there. Now I'll put you there. Port aft wing should go there. Okay, so I think that's all the appropriate locations for the casemates. Uh, set rest angle, I'll say 355, set rest angle, you could be regular 350, and then the last two here, I'll do like a 185 and then a uh, 190. That kind of works, okay, cool. Um... Check, all okay. Oh, hold on, this is where some extra weight went. I don't need those necessarily. I can get, the, I might be able to get that extra inch of turret armor. Uh, 
or you know a little bit more upper belt oh god the funnel is tiny Okay, yeah, feet-wise it's saying that this ship is massive, but I think that the drawings themselves are just constantly massive. So I'm probably not going to use that, these funnels here. Um, hmm... So, the thing is that the French really don't have any battleships during this time period. Let me look up the, uh, oh, what is it? That's the battleships of France. Let me look up the, uh, Corbet class, because, I mean, that's a normal battleship. But, uh, still important. Don't have any battle cruisers. Um, although I feel like this is a time where France would just be like, how many funnels can we get? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be how many funnels can I get? I, I think that's probably the right call in terms of uh, designing this ship. Um, CV, CV Island 10 is pretty fun to use. Okay, yeah, that works. Um, okay, so structure three, I'd probably want to be, you know, back off of here. So, you know, maybe more like that. Okay, so I can do that as a layer, and uh, just build stuff on top of that. I'm trying to figure out if this is, like, too... I might, I might do a tripod mast. Here. I think I'm going to start with, like, a an 18-foot circle, maybe. Rather than the actual tripod mass, so that's kind of like the conning tower. Um, but yeah, I think I'll add, try to add a tripod mass on top of that. The so mass tripod. Let's try that one. Okay, I think that looks okay. Um, actually, no, that would be later. That would be later in the ship's life. So, we w this wouldn't have a tripod mast, at least not yet. Um, I mean, it's fully possible that the mast winds up like here. Actually, I feel like that's a little bit more, not good design, but I feel like that's what would happen. In this case, I would want... So if I look at masts, I probably don't want a fighting top with cross street. Let's try... Uh, 
Uh, hold on. Do mass antenna star BB of 8. Nope. Let's try a mass antenna star uh, CA of 4. I have an idea. I have an idea on how to make this work. I'm going to do like a 14 foot circle. There. On top of this, I'm going to put like a mast pole. Yeah, mast pole with simple cross tree probably. Okay, there we go. That's kind of the uh, forward mast. Alright, so I have more superstructure points I can kind of use for some of the aft uh, structure, or possibly a little bit more here. Um, I might add something here. I probably will add something there. Yeah, let's do a rectangle. Solid, large, good enough. Do I want that? Do I even want that there? I don't think so. How about I do a rectangle square, but maybe like a 12 foot something smaller? a little bit there okay I guess that can work I do need anchor chains on this boat too so anchor chains Try BB straight. No, I probably want BB angled. I'll do uh, angled thin, maybe. I can actually probably add a breakwater to this. front of the forward turret. <clears throat> so I'm going to try a structure kind of like this. Yeah, I can do something like that. Um, I'm actually going to add another uh, rectangle. Probably a rectangle solid large. Actually, I'm going to copy that. Paste another one. Just behind it about there. Uh how should we hold on? Let me get a circle black, fourteen foot maybe? Yeah.
Okay, yeah, there's the fifth funnel. Um, oh no. Going full France, I have a uh, five funnel ship. I was going to do that. I don't think I will now. And I think what I'm just going to do is, because part of that's just going to be obscured, um, I do... That looks kind of strange, so I think with six, I'm just going to kind of do this. Or, you know, I just had a rectangle over it. Okay, um, that's looking fine. Um, okay, so I'm going to say a mast with single boom, no cross trees. Put that there, and then... Th when I refit this ship, I'll probably um, add in or fix some of the weird things about it. That's kind of my thought. So, okay, so there's the aft mast. There's the foremast. Um, you need boats now. Mirror that. Try a 30 foot with ends and center support. Mirror that. Well, 28 foot with divisions. Um, Or the 28 foot with divisions, and uh, I'm actually going to copy that again. That rest angle. Hear that again. And now I need cranes. So probably crane one. Rest angle 180 and mirror that. Actually, I will remove the second one. Uh, yeah, mirror it. Okay, there we go. I can't add one more visual, so... Well, I don't know if it's one more visual, but I can add another visual, so I will add one last visual. That is a graded rectangle medium... Stern. Okay, there we go. I think that is uh, Strasbourg. All right, we are going to build a battle cruiser now. Unfortunately, tensions are now increasing, and that's just been some of the events I've been getting and. Uh, just some of the other stuff. Three cruisers finished their reconstruction. Awesome. Germany is building a armored cruiser. Okay, so um, that is a delay to both Democracy and uh, Strasbourg. That is a very, very significant delay. Both those ships are going to now be built with uh, steam turbines. Um, 
So I will lay down a couple more subs right now. Oh, hold on. What happened? One of our Captain Divasos got promoted. That was the guy on Amaral Ob. Um, how about I grab... What do I want to grab? Do we have any good guys here? Because Amaral Ob needs someone who's actually really good. Anyone... Charge of a good... The guy in charge of Pothau is a good administ or administrator. Like Pothau is a... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good, good call. And then grab another uh, average guy there. There's only a Mont column. That was actually the guy off of uh, Pothau. And then having a good administrator on, you know, a ship like Admiral Ob is probably a good call. All right. Gambetta is commissioned. Charlemagne, two cruises have finished their reconstruction. So normally I'd go with the democracy thing. Oh, God. You are all relations. Okay. Germany has no alliances with anyone. You almanac. They do have more battleships than us, and they do have a full dreadnought under construction. Best to avoid a war right now. We will support Italy, whatever comes. Gradual improvement of their quality. Rework the democracy design. Okay. Tensions with Germany are going up. So I think... I should have more of my ships active. Give, given the current situation... it's That's just the right call to do. Um, and I think it is a good idea to get central firing on the uh, Suchets as well. And probably also, I would say, get the 500 tonners in the active fleet and um, see if I can get a, uh, What, a 400 ton or a 600 tonner building? So, full turbine. So, yeah, I can go like full on 28 knots right now with three torpedoes. I can go 29 knots if I want to. Also go twenty eight with four inch guns. So start on that. Wait alone will enter service here soon. Victor Hugo and uh Jules Michelet will be done soon. These will all re enter service. Oh, who has no commander? The new ship has no commander. 
So what do I want to grab from? I might grab the brilliant... No. Do I want to grab the brilliant guy in Jules Ferry? Like, Jules Ferry is my biggest ship, and Leon Gambetta is not as fast. Um... Pothau is that one. I'll grab the guy from uh, Glory. The so Duthu will be in charge of you, which means that you can probably get an average commander on a Montcalm or an unassigned average commander. Okay. Um,. Next turn, mission two subs, Messina has finished reconstruction. Okay. War has broken out between Italy and Germany. Of course. Now we get improved 12-inch guns as well. God damn it, will will I ever get Democracy and Strasbourg done? Okay, um doctrine wise. Yeah, let's uh let's get that going. So, in terms of ships, I actually want active right now. Um let, let, yeah, let's get this all sorted out. So, all of you guys go active fleet, but uh, you guys go to trade protection. Destroyer wise, um, I will activate everything. And I do feel like it is worthwhile pulling all divisions to Northern Europe right now. What divisions are not going? Uh, you aren't going. Oh, I'm not even sure I really want the Montcalms all that active. Okay, um, so, destroyer-wise, I'm thinking, oh, hold on, uh, which one are you in? You're in the 10th division, or 10th destroyer division. Move division to Northern Europe. So, these guys are slowed down, unfortunately, but they are medium range. So I feel like those are going to actually be good choices. I feel like the uh, Durandals here are going to be better on trade protection as well as like the uh, Fremies. Maybe the second group of Fremies I will keep on active duty. Uh, activate those. Those guys are active. The Montcalms are currently deploying. On the other hand though, I think I'm going to keep the Oceans and Redoubtables in reserve for now to save a little bit of funding. Um, those guys will have to move to Northern Europe, but I will be relying on basically the Brennus forward um, to form my battle line. Hopefully Italy will come up and help me out here. Yeah, put high spying on Germany. I will say, Democracy and Strasbourg will have to be redesigned again. Um, both of them will, with uh, better quality 12-inch guns. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get both of them building this year. But yeah, Germany looks like got the first Dreadnought building. And that's also partially because Democracy got delayed badly. 
So, Leon Gambetta will have to be, for now, assigned to uh, second cruiser division. Um, and then eventually she'll get her own. Or, yeah, she'll be a part of a different one. So the Jean Bars are not upgraded. Um, yeah, okay. So now I gotta figure out what is what. What is in what group. So... So the fifth... Hold on. I feel like I'm gonna get rid of the fifth battle division. Um, dissolve, and then just, for now, add these ships to the fourth. So we have the third, second, and first, and I believe that is where all my battleships are, right? Um, actually, we'll activate all of them. So then the first cruiser division... I think you're going to be a core on the 4th uh, Battle Division. Yeah, 2nd Cruiser should be a core. Then, yeah, you should also probably be a core on the 4th Cruiser Division. Okay. So then, destroyer-wise, I need to actually figure out all of this. And, uh... Light cruiser wise. So I'm using these as scouts for the first battle division. You are not gonna be oh, these are coat logans. So you are not gonna be okay. How about I How about I just get rid of all the rolls temporarily? So, which divisions do I have? The 8th and 9th are both Pascals. These are newer ships, but they're slower. The 7th would be probably some of my best CLs. Yeah, the 7th and 1st have my best CLs in them. The 8th and 9th would be lighter ships. Or lighter CLs. Um, it's almost more worth putting some of them on trade protection. Uh, although I'm, I'm not sure that's the best use for them. I think it is better to have them in the fleet and then use more of the old destroyer. So in this case it would probably be the uh, second from me class. Or the, set, or the first group of Fermis. The second group of Fermis I think I will keep in the main uh, navy. Destroyer division wise, the 11th... Yeah, let me, let me get this straight. So the 8th, 6th, 2nd, and 11th would be the main ones I'd want to... Um... Okay, actually, in the 3rd. Okay. So... Hmm. I'll unset all the rolls. To uh, independent all on all of them. Uh so I think I'll have enough trade protection ships once I get those uh, other destroyers back. So scout cruiser wise. The question is do I want to use these lighter scout cruisers or do I want to use the bigger ones? Um, Cause scout cruisers can get cut off a lot more easier. Yeah I'll use the bigger ones. So I think the 7th... 7th will be a scout. Um, yeah scout. But you will be for the first cruiser division. First will be a scout for the first battle division. Hmm. 
We also thought we could just set these both as scout divisions and then not actually assign them to uh, leading something. But I'll get it worked out. So, second... Okay, so we have the second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. So, I don't really think I want the fourth doing that much. Um, not, not assigned commander. Um, set role. I think you will be a support for the fourth battle division. Because kind of, you know, one of the worst squadrons. Uh, you will probably be... I'm going to say a screen for the first battle division. And then you will be a uh, support for the second battle division. Actually, you will be a screen for the second battle division. These guys are having some severe slowdowns. So... Um, you will be a screen for the third battle division. That guys, those are, uh, you're not going to be that. You're going to be screen for the fourth battle division. Um, so then the Suchets are going to be support for the first battle division, I think. And then you guys are going to be a screen for the first cruiser division, and then you are going to be a screen for the second cruiser division. And the third and fourth cruiser divisions will not have a screen. Yeah, I think that I think that's how it'll work. So the cruiser divisions are now laid out properly. Um, so the destroyer divisions. So first, okay, actually no, not the first, right? Yeah, no, the first destroyer division, and the uh, which which is the other one? I think the first and third are going to be on trade protection. So in terms of role. I think they will just be, um, supports on the 4th Battle Division. I'm not really... Actually, no, hold on, hold on. It's not the 3rd Destroyer Division, it would be the 10th Destroyer Division. Actually, you're going to be a role on the or a support on the fourth cruiser division, I think. And now we get the actual good destroyer divisions. So, okay, let's okay, let's see which ones which ones are bad and which ones aren't. So, I want to be careful with the ninth, seventh, and uh, fourth. I think these are going to be supports for battle divisions. So do that as a support for the second battle division. Actually, these might be... Hmm, hold on. I have an idea. So instead of being a support for the fourth battle division, I think you're better off as a support for one of the cruiser divisions. Um... I think you'll be support first cruiser. Actually, hold on. Port first light cruiser. So these will be supports for the um scouting cruisers if needed role you'll be support seventh cruiser yeah seventh cruiser 
Okay, so then the short... Okay, so... Yeah, you that'll be support second. Um... I think this will be support first battle division. You will be support fourth battle division, the slower ones. Um, I think these guys will be support three battle division. And now I have these guys. So. These guys support first cruiser. Set roll support. Uh, second cruiser. Actually, hold on. Okay, you guys should be support second cruiser division. These are independent but short ranged. I think these guys will be support three cruiser. Um, these can be support fourth cruiser division. Then you guys can be support fifth cruiser division. So then, yeah, that does mean that all of my main our mainline units now have a supporting unit. Um, so I'm having to move now all the way to Northern Europe. It is possible that Germany will try to fight me abroad. Um, they are probably going to have to activate a lot of their navy bill, and I'm also hoping that um, Italy can kind of come up and help me. On the other hand, their battleships don't currently look all that great. Actually, these are... Oh, those are kind of terrifying. But I'm hoping that with, you know, Iana and then the two Henri the Fourths already in service, that's going to be a big benefit to me, because these are like proper pre-dreads, and then these are a little worse. Um, but even so, I still, I have a decent navy right now. Ships in service is everything part of a division, other than those, it is cool. Um... Those having the O tag is not exactly good. I might, I'll probably have to replace those at some point. But you know, right now the focus is on democracy and Strasbourg, or Strasbourg. So anyway, um, thank you for watching this war that has suddenly crept out of nowhere. Um, hopefully we can beat Germany, but uh, it's definitely going to be difficult. Um, you can see the amount of ships that Italy has scrapped now too, whereas you know I've only been scrapping um old ironclad battleships and then lost a destroyer. And yeah, I really do need to get uh, Democracy and uh, Strasbourg building, but the techs have just been rolling in and they keep benefiting from them. So anyway, thank you everyone for watching. This has been me, Noni Moment 7 Spore. Um, down below there will be a link to a Roller Waves Discord. It is not official. I will go unofficial at this point. Uh, fully commit to the unofficial now that an official one exists. Maybe I'll link the official one below if I'm given permission. I don't know if I will be or how long that'll take or whatever. Um, I'd have to actually talk to them about that probably and get a link. But, uh, yeah. Um, also down below will be links to my own Discord, Twitch, and Twitter if you're interested in any of those things. Alright then, that's all I gotta say.